So recently, Congress has passed the Respect for Marriage Act here at the uh, federal level. And this basically uh, codifies gay marriage into federal law, uh, you know, making it legal for any uh, gender to marry any other gender. And, um, you know, I want to start this video by saying that <clears throat> I believe that uh, love is love to a degree. I believe that, um, you know, it's right for you. You can, you can love whoever you want to. Um, but I believe that a lot, I will say that relationships are supposed to be traditionally based around moving towards uh, building a family. The reason that we build families is to uh, procreate. And the reason that we procreate is to uh, further the civilization of humankind. So that kind of feeds into the sanctity and the purpose for marriage for a lot of people, specifically religious people. Um, that is also what fuels a lot of people to feel strongly about who can and can't be married. Um, because a lot of people view homosexuality as a carnal, as something that is a... Uh, solely based around the pleasures of the flesh. I don't fully agree with that sentiment. I think it is heavily based around the pleasures of the flesh because I mean, being like, if you if I'm a man and I love another man and I love them to the highest degree, it could be friendship, it could be brotherhood, it could be uh, fraternity. The only thing that takes it to the higher level uh, would be sex. Similar to with a woman, you can have the, all those things, friendship, camaraderie, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, very close dynamics. The only thing <clears throat> that changes that is when you take it a step further and say we are going to galvanize into a family <clears throat> and continue to create life. That is that's the difference. And that is a big reason why marriage was developed in the first place. Um you know, in previous history, when there were finite resources and dire straits before industrial revolutions, life was very uncertain for most people, especially women. Um, so in order to protect them from the world at large and in order to uh, continue to produce quality humans to the planet, we created intricate systems around courtship and mating that developed into what a modern marriage is known to be. But at every step of the way, even removing religion from any of this, it was always about galvanizing a family in order to further the human race. Like the reason that a dad passed his daughter onto a suitable, um, you know, a suitor would be because they wanted to make sure that not only their daughter was provided for, but their future generations and their legacy had ample of what they needed and were headed in the right direction. So they had them do tests, pay dowries, go through all these different situations, arrange marriages, whatever. We've come a, we've come a long way since then. I understand once again, going back to love being love, if, you know, uh, gay people in their unique relationship decide that they want something that signifies a higher level of commitment. <clears throat> but we can't sit here and say that that's the same thing as marriage. Uh, any inkling that it is the same thing as marriage is a redefinition of marriage, which marriage has been redefined here in recent decades for leniency of people, meaning not even gay people, heterosexual people <clears throat> have urged for leniency in the concept of marriage and laws associated with it so that they can continue to fulfill their own hedonistic nature, which I could argue 
has uh, also its place in why homosexuals feel the way that they do about it. But it's not the point. My point is that because everybody wants to loosen the definition of what marriage means. They do it under the guise of opening it up so that more people can participate in it. But what that actually does is water down what a marriage is. And now we're at a place where, I mean, heterosexual men are growing more and more afraid of marriage every single day because of no fault divorce. That has nothing to do with homosexuality or anything like that. And notice how I'm not saying whether or not uh, gay people should or shouldn't be allowed to get married. But one thing that I know is that it wasn't created for this purpose. And nobody has been able to rationalize a need for marriage in the homosexual community or what that signifies besides different tax statuses and things like that, which, you know, those are the best arguments that I hear is for legal, which anybody who really cares about marriage and the sanctity of it <clears throat> isn't even going into the legal aspect of it. So there's many different conversations being had here about this specific topic, but the laser focus of it is. And I think a happy medium that most people on both sides are refusing to cede because they have their beliefs um, like people who are on the far uh, religious side are just completely anti homosexuality in, in totality. And then people on the left side are just not they want to make a point. They don't want their own thing. They want marriage because it would be a win for them. And I think that that's where we're making a huge we're doing a disservice to each other as human beings on this planet because there are so many things that are like that, that there are really happy mediums, easy answers, compromise to be had. But because we are so bifurcated and so tribal uh, and so sporty with it that we will not allow our side to fail. And I get it. Part of this is what drives humanity forward against many, many, many different hardships and trials and tribulations and obstacles. But at the same time, boy, are we bullheaded sometimes. And I'm sure that somebody watching this video will claim that I am homophobic for the things that I've said. But I will end this video with saying quite literally that no, I do not think that this should be codified into federal law that everywhere everybody has to support gay marriage. And they're claiming that this was made with uh, consideration to people's religious freedoms, meaning that if they, you know, refuse to accept these kind of practices and stuff like that, <clears throat> that they should be allowed to do such things. But most people don't have much faith in that because we've already seen examples like, I don't remember what the name of the place was, but <clears throat> that wedding cake situation that happened so long ago where they didn't want to bake a cake for the gay wedding and stuff like that. And I don't even remember how that ended up being because so many people, like I said, on their side, want to share their side of the story instead of what actually happens. But I'm pretty sure they ended up being forced to make the cake or be sued or something like that. And I don't want to spread misinformation. So if anybody has the actual, you know, the actual uh, outcome of that, let me know. But my point in saying that is that is what um, the right and religious people are afraid of. They're afraid of being persecuted for their beliefs and they're afraid of having their uh, religious systems hijacked. I think that that is a fair fear because there is a heavy uh, uprising of anti-religious sentiments in the United States of America. And as a person who is uh, non-denominational and non uh, I, I'm a Muslim, but I'm not an Orthodox Muslim. And a lot of people would consider me not a Muslim by my own beliefs. And that's fine. Uh, you know, I'm not the type of person to argue that you have to accept me into your religion. I just go based off of a Muslim as somebody who fully submits to the will of Allah. I believe that I have to submit to do the will of God. So that is what makes me Muslim. Uh, that could also make me Christian. If you consider walking in the footpaths of Jesus, your life path. Um, so that's how those two things can over, overlap. But I say all this to say that um, I'm not the most traditional person when it comes to religious beliefs or these kind of things in general, but I still do. I always try to see the opposite side of why religious people would be trying to protect the sanctity of marriage. And I actually agree a lot in that aspect. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section.
once again, if you think that I'm completely homophobic and shouldn't even be talking about these things, maybe a, st a stochastic terrorist, let me know. I read every single comment and reply to most of them, especially the nasty ones. All righty.